So I love this song right here. This is my joint right here. I'm going to put this at my wedding cake whenever I get married in the divorce court. <laughs> I'm not anybody knows in the house right now. We still got the pastor. Well, get, get your shout out, pastor. Pay attention. What's going on? <laughs> I'm still here. Pastor Michael Fisher, Great Design Church family. And who we got over here? Uh, not right here. Oh, right over here. Yeah. It's Brandy McGee. Don't let the sweet face fool you. And then we got Denise Danielle. We gotta get your name. You just you get, yeah, you guys gotta come up with like a little call yeah, afterwards you know, or whatever. You no, know, you got the uh, uh, wet hands ha or something. Y'all talking about <laughs> wet and wavy, wet and yeah, wavy. Wet and wavy. You got you got hamster oh, hair on your head. So wet and wavy hamster hair. And over here we got the man that's uh, gonna be Luke Campbell's next uh, campaign manager. <laughs> yeah, we got the campaign manager for Luke Campbell right here. <laughs> Luke Dex. right here. Suckalata. Hey, Suckalata. He Luke Dex. He will mess up a free cornbread dinner right here. That dude. <laughs> Johnny Mac, you just trying to get girl. You want to go down hey, there? I, I used to go to his club. Yeah, but he had that club. It was on, I went on first, just right there on Alton, Alton and Fifth. I used to, but it was purple and gold. I used to go down and get down down there. It's funny. Our I like to thank I, I like to thank Luther Campbell for at least seventeen one night stands. He was oh. responsible for that. <laughs> it was off the chain. Now we got a very special guest, great friend of mine. Not saying that you ain't a great friend of mine, Pastor, but I don't know you like that. <laughs> great friend of mine. I know this young lady since the nineties. We, we we was working on we was on the Jamie Foxx show on the Warner Brothers lot. She was on For Your Love right across the street from us, and I tried to holler at her, and she wasn't having it. Hurt my feelings, so I had to move on to the extras on her show. And I'm thank uh, Central Casting for supplying me for at least Hilarious. 123 one night stand. We get into that later. <laughs> Great friend of mine. Too many credits to to name. She's done it all. She's been acting. She's from Pasadena, California. She's been acting in this Hollywood since at least since '95, right? Longer. Longer than 95? Since I was 14 years so old. she was 14 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful, the curvaceous, still looking good, ladies. I know you're 22 you know, year old in the club. I really hate this part. <laughs> Tamala Joe. Hey. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome. Thank you. Who, who? My intro is better than some of your movies. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Damn. Hey. Sorry, hey. Really? I saw the Janky Promoters. I saw that. Okay, that I was. Saw that was. The brothers, you know. I saw been... Who's Your Caddy. Okay, we keep going. no. Now, let's talk about your beautiful, um, long, lustrous career. And I just shit on three of your movies. But anyway. You did, but that's all right. But I'm a fan. It's for black people. I'm a fan. I'm black, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm light-skinned, but I'm black. <laughs> I've seen all your movies. I've seen all your movies. What about of lotion? Anyway, talk about that later. Ooh. Let's talk about your career. You got a new movie coming out called 35 and Ticking. Yes. You want to talk about that? Uh, well, Russ Parr, who is also a radio personality. Lunell is in there, too. Yes, Miss oh, Lunell oh, yes. is in there. Oh, hi, hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she's hysterical in the movie. Mm. And she, did a, she was on our sketch comedy show. She was hysterical. No, this woman is... People Very don't really funny. understand they how funny. You tell them that they don't understand. They don't know. understand. This one... Is fearless, mm -hmm. and I think that is like the biggest part of being a comic just yeah. being fearless and doing whatever is in your heart and making light of things. And wow, Lunell is the queen of that. I want to be fearless. Well, you well go right out, now, you you're fleeless. Me? No, <laughs> <laughs> you're more fearless. That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me in this room, baby. Please Aww. believe me. Thank you. Aww. 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 We love you, Lunell. Thank you very much. I, I, Thank yeah, you, baby. Lunell is a great drinker. Me and I've had several drinks together, and nothing ever happens. She don't pass out or nothing. <laughs> oh, that's what hey, that means a lot. Uh, that's funny. I never, get the beautiful, I never get the beautiful, the talented, the curvaceous. I never get that. Like, here come old drunk-ass Lunell again. That's all I ever say about me. Only <laughs> say that at church. Wow. Uh, so tell us. <laughs> now, I got, I got a, I got a, you, you was in here to stay. Yes. What with Chris Rock? Mm -hmm. You was in Booty Call. Yes. Sorry to hear that. No, uh, <laughs> your boy Jamie Foxx was in there too. We, yeah, we, right. killed, already, we tell him buns. the same thing. We, we kill buns every time he come through. Trust but you know what? As as crazy as that movie was, it was really a turning point for black films. Right. It really was, and it had a good message: safe sex if you're gonna do it, you know. But it was it's fun. It was a Pastor, message. how do you feel about safe? There was a message in that. A little we one. Have cellophane. <laughs> Plastic wrap. People didn't know what dental dam was before that movie. Yeah. You know, movie groundbreaking. Well, yeah, <laughs> there was a lot of things in there. Right. It's a cult classic. Let I'll be sure to show it to my children. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> so they're like sixteen or something. You won't have no children what, what if you follow think? the advice of Tamla Jones. What do you think has kept your career moving? Upward in a positive way. What do you think is the key to your success so far? Well, I don't have a diva too. I love what I do. I love acting. I've been doing it since I came out the womb, acting crazy, got a career out of it. 
it's not about being a star for me. It's about doing some good work. And I've done some bad work, but that's part of growing, you know. you got to do something bad to know what's good. And You're right. I well, just, you're good. I love it. I you're should be definitely, brilliant You're, you're so talented. <laughs> and you work with a lot of comics, too. What is that like? Because, I mean, you work with Tracy Morgan. Do you have to be on your toes when you work with them for the ad living? They make it so easy, though. Cause we worked on that together, too. Yes. Let me ask you about the Tracy Morgan show when you played his wife. Uh-huh. Um, be nice. And I compliment you on, on your good work. I'm just going to ask you, how was it to work with him without the mustache? Did that throw you off a little I, bit? No. That his, that his top lip was naked? It didn't throw you off? <laughs> No, you know what? Tracy is funny as he hell. Is. He is so funny. And the thing about him, he's like a big kid. So I was not looking at him like, oh, he's somebody that I, you know, would be attracted to. It was like that guy that I was in school. That. Yeah, but if I'm going to be looking at somebody's lip, that means I want to kiss you him. You like thugs, too. They don't know that about you. Oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> well, then Johnny Mac is right yeah. here. Talk about it. Let's I, talk about it. I did, you know. That little sweet baby right there, like her rough. I did, girl. you know. You, as yeah. a woman growing up, again, I've been in this business since I was 14 years old, uh -huh. and I was not raised around thugs. But good girl gone bad, you know. Uh -huh. We they go exciting. through our little things. Yeah, you, you go through your little phases in life, and I had I had a couple of bad boys. Really? But now, now, how thuggy is thuggy? Like what we talking really about? Not really thuggy, because they were sweet. Professional to me. thugs. I mean, I mean thugs, thugs are usually with sweet. With thugs with makeup like, on. No thugs with jobs. But like money. Their I was gonna say, did they have illegal jobs? No, 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 no. no. no they were no, entertainers, no. the rappers, and oh, you know, oh, oh. So they were fake thugs. Oh, okay. I Hollywood but, thugs. But, no. I mean, in the public eye, that's what they represented. Mm. To me, they were not like that. Like who? Oh. Like I can't tell you that. Tyrese, Tyrese. That no, was I never dated Tyrese. Love him guy. though. Oh, okay. Um, okay. No, we're not guessing. Bill, let's talk Behind about. Me. I'm let's, not telling. And I let's know. talk about. Let's talk about. You know everything, Ludell. <laughs> let's talk about thirty-five and ticking. Yes. Break it down. Go ahead. Thirty-five and ticking is about a group of friends that grew up together. Um, you know, usually when you're a little girl, you talk to your best friend. You're like, when we grow up, we're gonna live next door to each other. We're gonna get pregnant, have kids together. We're gonna get married together, that kind of thing. And then you get to <laughs> thirty-five is years old, and it's not at all what you planned out for it to be. So yeah. it's about friends in different stages of their lives. Um, one who wants to have a baby, one who wants to get married and have a baby, one who is married that is having a jacked up relationship because his wife really didn't want to get married or have the kids. And wanted, a hoe. wanted to be a hoe and ended up paying for that. Um, and then you got Lunell, uh, who who works in a sperm bank, and <laughs> she's um, it's her usual. Is she is, is she the inspiration? No, but she is definitely the comic relief. I mean, we have a great cast. Kevin Hart, uh, Linnell, uh -huh. uh, Nicole, Nicole Ari Parker, Parker Ke uh, he, Keith Robinson, Robinson, Mike Epps. Darius wow. McCrary. Darius McCrary. Uh, uh, Wendy Raquel Robinson. Dondre Whitfield. Tim Whitley. Yes. Oh, man, that's a DVD. Mario that's, Mario. that's got DVD written all over it. No. What is this? What is this? Jump in the broom, too? <laughs> no, we're coming out May 20th. Okay. May 20th, and Let, it's not the same people. Linnell, what, what, was your, what was your role? Who was your character? I worked, in, I, I worked in the sperm bank that Kevin Hart <laughs> used to frequent. <laughs> And tell everybody that he had a job at a bank. And in, in, in <laughs> essence, he did have a job at the bank. But That's the thing that I found in this movie, first of all, I've always wanted to work in an ensemble with a bunch of fine black actors. I never get a chance to do that. Actually, I do more crossover work with white folks than I do with my own people, no which is not uh, a bad thing. It ain't a bad thing. It's not, it be no, no, it's not a bad thing if you look <laughs> at my jewelry. As she flashes her bling. But, <laughs> it, it, but it is my heart. I always want to, you know, of course, be with my people. But the thing is, Russ Parr's direction of me was something that I had not experienced in, in as much as we did not go for the joke. And the joke came in me being so stoic and so dry. That was the funny thing to me. I didn't say I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. Just was, and, and that brought out this different element. And I think any actor is only as good as the director. The director can play every part in the movie better than everybody because they know the vision. And so I really enjoyed working with Russ, and I hope I get a chance to work with a good aunt Tam. Oh, good for you. Oh, that, and Russ is a very talented man. not have a diva, too, because a lot of people that I look up, you know, you sit home you look uh, on your couch and on your bed, and you look at people for years and years, and you say, 
oh, gosh, you know, I wonder what it would be like maybe to meet that person one day. I hope they're nice. And then you meet them, and they're a shithead, but not town. <laughs> uh, that has always treated me lovely and with respect. Not like you motherfuckers, but, you know, with lovely <laughs> and with respect. <laughs> and it's been a beautiful thing. I love her dearly. Oh, yeah, sorry, she Pastor. came in and I hugged forgot everybody. she was here, Pastor. Yeah, we thought she was here. I met motherfucker in the vernacular. In the <laughs> right, right. In the spiritual. In the spiritual. Yeah, in the spiritual. spiritual. Uh, Tablet Thomas, why don't you have a diva too? Uh, have you ever had one when you mm. was on the Hughleys or nothing like that? I wasn't on the Hughleys. I'm sorry, ah. Tracy Morgan. I'm sorry, Tracy Morgan. You know what, Johnny Man? Uh, hey, I miss up. I still up. love you. Hey. But a lot of people get Pimps me mixed up with the Hughleys because I played D.L. Hughleys' wife in the, in the Brothers, and right. then the show he had, the Hughleys, was still going on. At the right. Time. Thank so you so I much that. for helping me out. You're welcome, yeah, baby. That was, see, that's <laughs> because she don't have a diva too. That's why she helped you. But out. I'm saying you wear lingerie on screen. She did. Yes, and, I did. In this movie? And 35 no. and Ticking and in The Brothers. Yes. Can I get the uncut version? No, you may not. <laughs> I haven't I have a, have a bottle of baby oil no, I haven't gotta, used yet. You got to watch that channel that come on cable that, that tells you where people, it's a movie, and they tell you where the nude parts are in the I, movie. I, I That's on Playboy. In film, the pastor is still here. That's on what? Uh, hey, the pastor know what lingerie <laughs> is. Mine got footies in them. But there's no, there's no what? need. But the ass sheets is out. Yeah, the pastor got a Christian robe hanging somewhere. There's no need for diva tude from anybody. We're just regular people. We have regular jobs. But you I'm know. saying because you don't understand, they do cater to you when you're the star of the show. I don't do that. I go get my own drinks and coffee and right. food. And if I can't because I'm, I have to get touched up or whatever, I'm in the meeting with the director or whatever, then it's okay to go and get me something because I can't leave. But... As far as people running errands, I don't even have an assistant. What? I've never had an assistant this entire time I've been in I need an assistant. You... I want him to go get that shit for me. I don't want to move a motherfucking <laughs> muscle. Go yeah. give me some fucking she eggs. in the vernacular. <laughs> um, well, what, she came in. When she came in, she came in and hugged every single person. She did. And greeted Actually, everybody you know warmly. What? So that's, a, that's absolutely Ray's 100% right. true. That's not even uh, just that asking you up. nothing. We love to have That's just probably oh. courtesy. <laughs> No, it's not I common I do that courtesy. when I go to jail. I do the same no, thing when I go to jail. Oh, no. I love the same thing. Too short sure didn't hug everybody when he came in. Too short sure didn't hug everybody when he came in. I do have a question. I mean, because a lot of times, especially <laughs> amongst women, and especially, unfortunately, amongst black women, there is a lot of diva too. Like, how do you deal with that when you go, come up against it on set? Like, what do you do? Or in life. <gasps> oh, that, she's a, I love her. Life. Everything that I get is for me, and everything they get is for them. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of black roles for women in mm -hmm. this business, and it is crabs in a barrel. Mm -hmm. But I try to show them the same respect that I would want them to show me. I don't have any problems with any of these women. I always show love, but it is, it is a problem. I do catch some heat, mm -hmm. and it's like I... Don't concern my world with what other people are feeling or thinking about me. Go ahead, girl. My world Stop it. has, because I take care of my family, too, so it's not just about me. What right. you mean your family? My mother, oh. my grandmother. I think you about your husband and the kids. No, kids. I'm not married, and I don't have any children. Great, I got action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't Ticking. concern outside people. It's about me doing the best that I can and getting as much work as I can and making a great brand for myself right. in this industry and continuously working since I've been 14. I've been fortunate to do that. So, so. what is your key to that? Because you've always been working. you got like three pages of stuff you done done, you know. How do you continue? Is it the beauty? Is it it's the attitude? Is knowing your craft. Have your own good hair. Help. What is the, the beauty helps. The hair helps. Uh, yeah. uh, auditioning you. for everything. For instance, I was in Up in the Air. George Clooney yeah, was in this movie. Yeah, I saw that Jason movie. Reitman directed. His family is Hollywood royalty. That role was so tiny, and there was no credits involved, but I knew it was a great opportunity yes. for me to be in a big movie mm -hmm. with great actors that I always mm -hmm. wanted to work with. So I went and auditioned, when normally other actors in my position wouldn't audition. They mm -hmm. would want an offer for that role. Mm -hmm. I didn't care. Good I'm like, you. let me get I in there and got it. And, got it. And, got it. Go ahead. and people remembered it. Mm -hmm. What about your role in Kingdom Come? How was that? I love that movie. Same thing. I always wanted to work with Whoopi Goldberg. Mm -hmm. And, you know, however I got to do that, it was that particular movie. I didn't have but one line in there. I was talking about my kids, Tisha and Tanika and whoever, and, you know, but, <laughs> and pregnant again. But 
I got to sit and talk to Whoopi Goldberg. So, yeah. you know, I, I, she's my inspiration. I want to do a one-woman show how she did, you know, back in the day with Fontaine and all the.